So this semester we're using a new type of question to help you learn uh, the basics of computer programming. Um, I refer to these as, as stumpers, um, but uh, they're usually called debugging challenges, at least on the lessons. Um, and the way these work is that we're going to give you a piece of incorrect code and ask you to fix it. Um, they work similarly to the homework problems. In fact, a lot of them have the same descriptions because they're old homework problems. And the way that we've created these exercises is actually by taking old student submissions and introducing small mistakes in them and then giving them to, to you to correct. This is great practice at a couple of things that a lot of people don't normally get to do in this type of class. One of them is working with other people's code. The other one is uh, fixing mistakes in code that's not yours. And this will really help you when you get to the quizzes, you're under time pressure, you're starting to get worried, you have five minutes left and there's some small bug in your code that you can't see. Um, and particularly when you're getting started, just training your eyes to see small mistakes like this is super useful. So let me show you how to do this. Uh, I've got one loaded up right here. And the idea behind these is that we give you a budget for the number of lines that you're allowed to modify in order to solve the problem. This is a Java one, but the Kotlin's one, well, Kotlin ones work the same way. Um, and what you'll see here is that, you know, if, if I uh, uh, modify too many lines here, then I'm not allowed to submit this anymore. Uh, because I've changed too many lines. And, and the goal here is to really just prevent you from totally starting over, right? Because you could just write this from scratch, uh, but we want you to learn how to make small changes in somebody else's code. So we'll tell you how many lines you're allowed to modify. Sometimes there's a big chunk of it that's missing. Other cases, it's a small mistake, right? And in this case, it's a small mistake, right? And let's go back to here and you can see, okay, uh, and this one maybe jumps out at you, maybe it doesn't, right? It jumps out at me, but I've been looking at text for a long time in a way that has heightened my appreciation for this type of small uh, small bug. Um, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and make our edits uh, because the string was supposed to say hello world. Um, now these, for this particular exercise, I'm showing you ones for hello world. Some of these are very strange, right? So let's go do a couple more. Um, this is a practice one, so it's not worth points towards your grade, but we will have these on lessons in the future and they will be worth points. Um, so I'm going to hit next and now this shows me, so like I said, some of these are a little silly. You know, there were clearly some people that were just kind of messing around with this problem. Um, so this uh, this submission decided that they were going to print one character at a time, kind of vertically, uh, and you can uh, maybe see where the problem is here right at the beginning. So I make that small change, um, submit it, and, and now I can keep going. Now there are a lot of these for any given problem. You can like spend as, you know, I, I don't remember what the count is for this problem, but we've got like lots, right? And it should be shown on here, I'll fix that. So, you know, it'll give you a sense of like how many of these you're allowed to do. There are many uh, that are available and you can go through lots and lots and lots and just, you know, here's another one. And you know, this one is, is kind of similar. These, these are not as interesting as some of the ones that you'll see going forward where the mistakes will be a lot harder to spot. Right, and the code here is also very strange. Right, you wonder like, why would someone solve the problem this way? And to be honest, I don't know. Um, people take this class and, and do strange things. So, uh, you know, this one I've got a bug right here. You know, I, I solved that one, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and move on. Right. Um, when we give you these as a homework problem, we'll ask you to do like five. Right. So it'll be worth two points each, and we're just giving you them at random. We have a large number of these, so we pick you know five at random and give them to you. They're going to be different than your friend sees. They're going to be different than other people in the class um, see. Uh, when we give you them on a homework problem, we'll give you a few skips. So if there's one that you're just really stuck on, you can just move on to the next one. Um, but you know the goal here is to practice with debugging, being able to see mistakes, correct mistakes, understand what's wrong with code, um, and and that's a great way to learn how to fix the mistakes in your own code.